Lala. Hello, peeps, and welcome back to Parkitect. Welcome back to Brimstone Peak. Um, where in the last episode we built this this area. Um, so we have a, a nice new ride, uh, which is it's kind of a cool ride. I think it works with the theme of the park uh, pretty well, actually. This one, kind of like it, kind of like it. Um, and then this bizarre building, which um, I have some ideas for uh, changing. Although we're not going to change it in this episode, but um, uh, something it was reminding me of, and actually. Uh, somebody mentioned it in the comments as well so it sort of reminds them of a train station and it was the same with me and I was thinking that uh, of taking this top part off to making this gold again and doing a tower and maybe having uh, a makeshift blimp up here uh, so it's almost like a, a skyport thing and then having one of those monorails come out of it uh, so they can sort of uh, blimp style fly around the park right that's that's sort of what I'm thinking with that but I'm not gonna do that in this episode as we've done quite a lot over here already um, we're going to have a look at uh, we, I've noticed that people have started to say hey look the park is really good deal so first things first so it's, let, let's just pop this up I'm not gonna go nuts uh, because we do also charge for the rides uh, and they're also complaining about all the different intensity rides um, and I thought we might uh, today have a look at high intensity and I was looking through what we've got here and I was thinking this G-lock might be exactly what we need. It's high intensity, it's also high nausea, so that'll be fun. Um, and I'm thinking about doing something around here. Might be nice. Uh, something around here um, I think will start helping to balance out this park quite nicely. Um, and uh, something that I really like with the steampunk stuff um, now I experimented with it a little bit so you can see here this actually moves spins and turns here you can see this right and a lot of the um, things with the steampark uh, steampunk do tend to move there's cogs and gears and all sorts that we could do so uh, using very much sort of this kind of style I thought I might try and build quite an intricate a cog system gold cog system over it um, could take me some time so it might be um, uh, a short episode um, because it's probably going to take me a long time to build this um, which after a, <laughs> a time lapse results in quite a short episode but we're going to I love I'm loving this I'm loving this this is a cool little ride this it's nice and calm right nice and calm um, yeah so that's what I'm I'm thinking about trying out uh, right now what are we doing we are okay I'd like shops next it, I feel like some umbrellas might be uh, might be good right um, yeah so I think that's what we will jump into uh oh's uh oh's this pass getting a bit bit grim isn't it um, let's see I think we've already got yeah look we've already got three janitors I think what we might have to do um, is consider that's our zones we've got see zone ones here I mean we could increase this but it's a long way to go isn't it feels like a, a long way to, to go let's let's no no oh my goodness I've done it now what's happening here <laughs> oh no get rid of it I don't want it no down here that's it yeah along here I think we might have to do something a bit crazy like that right anyway shall we crack on and uh, try and figure out uh, something for this uh, g-lock I'm quite excited about what I might potentially end up with yes I am
So this is where we are currently. Um, we have built the ride and um, I've blocked off a sign so they can't go walking over here. Um, we've built some foundations that sort of match the overall theme of the park. We'll look at that. Um, I was thinking about building some toilets into the exit because this has got high nausea. I'm hoping that um, this toilet might be close enough, but you know, I'm not 100% sure, truth be told. Um, so, you know, it is what it is at this point. Now, as I say, I want to build quite an intricate cog thing, and I thought I would show you. I've laid out all the bits and bobs available. Um, this is very cool. And you can see that they do move. Look, they're all sort of moving. Uh, I really like the idea of taking advantage of the moving parts. Um, so, like, this whole thing seems to be sort of moving a certain certain amount, right? Um, you know, I, I, I might do uh, like a tower here not sure not sure this could take some working out uh, I think we're going to utilize this a lot because it's amazing um, look at this 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 goes either side of paths really nicely look at that you know so you, you could do some really cool designs with it uh, at the same time we could also do it along here you know might be able to do something along there um but yeah also like i say we, we can also do stuff along paths with this um yeah that's pretty cool right this thing's cool i like this um so yeah uh i'm going to try and utilize things and build some sort of weird large contraption thing um, because I want to see all these moving parts uh, doing their thing. Um, so this this could take uh, some time. It'd be also, oh look, we've actually got a wall problem here. Let's let's fix this up. Um, yeah, here, look. There we go. That should be better. There we go. Uh, yeah. So I guess we'll see how this goes. Most of the queuing system is underneath the ride. Um, but we probably could do some with something here, um, which would also help in turn, I think, give the ride a little bit of height, you know, so it, it starts to look more in keeping with stuff we've got going on over here. Um, but it might stand out in that it's going to be largely gold, I think, as well. So I guess we'll see about that. We could always do uh, change this out for piping, maybe. No. <laughs> I'm excited. Um, let's see if I can come up with something, shall we? This is where we are so far with it <laughs> and there is sort of a, an intricate design and pattern building up 
uh, around here. Uh, the ride does clip through. So I've tried to keep it fairly light in the center here because it does clip through this. Um, this is why we don't have more bits in these center parts because these ride comes through here. So it does clip, but I've tried to keep it to a minimum. Um, and I think uh, what uh, this is sort of largely what I'm going to be doing for this center bit, and we're going to do some towers here, right? But I'm thinking um, we might get some steam em emitters going here. I think this could be good. Um, it would also work really nice on some of these pipes, sticking some steam emitters in. But we're just, I think, going to play with it on this particular ride because when I come to do a sandbox park, which I do absolutely plan to do, that's when I will uh, make full use, I think, of things like steam emitters with this particular theme. Uh, I think it would be great. But we can uh, put in a proof of concept, I think, with this particular ride. Uh, you can see them all getting on now. Um, it's saying there's no high intensity rides. I, this is potentially the only one, so maybe, maybe the queue was full. Um, so here we go. You'll see that they do indeed clip through. Any minute now. <laughs> it's a nuts ride. We seem to be doing okay though for rubbish around here, uh, vomiting and whatnot. But yeah. So you can see it does clip through a bit. <laughs> but, you know, I don't care. <laughs> I simply don't care. I think that thing is looking pretty freaking cool. Uh, so, uh, one thing I am going to quickly do, I think, is um, get rid of this. Ooh, get rid of this Benny. Um, and put in a Benny. There we go. Uh, that'll be good. Excellent. Um, so there we are. Um, there's that bit done. So yeah, we're going to be looking at a tower, I think, here now with lots of cogs and stuff all over it. Um, yeah, let's let's do it.
All right, here it is, my tower. Now, uh, again, I uh, haven't got the steam bits in yet, uh, but we've made like a clockwork type tower. Look at it. Um, so I've made some places ready for steam to come out and whatnot. And I've tried to make it so it looks like there's things moving all the way throughout which I think has worked. Oh my goodness. I actually really like it. <laughs> okay, I'm really pleased with this. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, I haven't done anything with the exit yet. I'm probably not going to do anything too crazy. Maybe something like this, just, just to get them, them out of the place. Uh, because, to be honest, this is this is something like... Oh, Skyfall has just been researched. I believe it was a thrill ride. Skyfall. Oh, look. Goodness, oh my goodness, that oh, opportunity missed. <laughs> uh, but yeah, really, really happy with that. I think that's come out pretty nicely. Um, their heads do clip through there. Uh, I'm not sure that I care. Uh, good, right. So now it's time to mess about with emitters. And I've totally forgotten how they work. Um, so should we try and remind ourselves? Um, now, I'm aware that in effect, uh, yeah, look, oh, that's the speaker, okay, we're not interested in that. So, smoke emitter, look at this. <laughs> Do we have this water jet? Uh, water, do you know what? Water could also be, uh, fairly interesting, uh, towards, um, you know, if it, it if it splashes on and off quickly. I could work as a pretty good emitter as well for, for adding to that smoke effect. But let's try and keep it simple uh, for the moment uh, with this, with this, right? Okay, so what am I thinking? I'm thinking that we'll stick a smoke emitter inside here. Okay. Right. And... Probably one inside here. I think that one's going to have to be quite high. I think they're inside those chimneys. Right. Um, now, I was also wondering about these pistons. I'm trying to make it so that... Um, There's some steam coming from pistons. Uh, usually when it interacts with things, it changes direction. I seem to have lost that ability. There we go. Let's There, that sort of thing. I'm thinking, let's stick that on. Okay. Uh, I might be doing this badly in terms of I might want to adjust some of the size of these steam things we've got pistons inside as well as you can see we've got pistons oops here like this the only thing is that we might not want and I think once the emitter's there, I can't adjust the size of it. That's the only thing, right? Um, anyway, that will do. As I say, we're going for proof of concept here. So let's now, now what we need to do, uh, I close the thing, I, I do this. We need a controller, right? So let's, let's um, pop a controller behind the tree here. <laughs> right, now, um, timing, yeah. And I can't remember how to oh how to do this. There isn't a there is a way. A sign, right. Okay. A sign this smoke emitter. Okay. Right. And let's randomize this. Let's, okay. Uh Now, we haven't added that one. Okay. And then, 
let's add the smoke emitter. Now, apart from the chimneys, all of that should be, yeah, doing its thing. Right, so what we've got now is that we should see them all going off at different times. Right, we might need to reduce the length. Right. Oh, that's, is that the overall size of the steam? I think it might be. So, at the moment, this is too long. Uh, so, let's change this down. What have we got? We're, we're lasting zero. So, I'm thinking... What, what, what am I thinking? Is it something like, something like this? Okay, now how do we get it to... Ah, oh, there you go, time intervals. So it's playing much more regularly now, almost on a continual loop. Look at that. Yes, yes. Okay. I wish it sort of looked like it was coming out a bit more viciously, you know, like... Tss, tss, you know. Uh, but that's fine. That's still pretty cool. I feel like that's working for... Oh. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with it. Oh my goodness. I really like it. I think it's come out quite nice. Oh yeah. Okay, now. Um, so as you know, I was thinking about changing this to a tunnel. Um, um, and then maybe putting something like this over here. Let's let's do that. So let's, let's uh, grab these because uh, we we really like these we're going to lower it a bit we're going to stick these in each of these corners now while we're here oh yeah while we're here we are also going to just i think bring them down as supports like that um which means we also need to bring this one down there like that okay fantastic and we can see look they're going across the top here as well so let's grab these ones now they've got them a little bit differently to this i think haven't they but i was gonna have to have a little bit of a gap there we go right and then they've got the arches we're going to stick in there we go okay and then they've got the these bits which we ah oh, okay our arches are a bit high right so let's let's fiddle with this okay so we want these bits here okay like this Good, and then these arches come here. Lovely, excellent. That's what we like to see. And then we've got a little, little bit down the centre support, a little centre support. And then we want to grab some glass. And then we've we've managed to repeat this theme, which is great. Um, so what I like the idea of. Let's pause this minute. So what I like the idea of is if we just get rid of this staircase a minute right now i was thinking oh like that i thought that'd be pretty cool oh man is it me or does this look amazing <laughs> i'm not at all modest uh i think it looks amazing i don't care what any of you say <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, wow, I'm really happy with that, um, I think when I come to make my own park, we're going to have a, a bit of this going on, oh man, <laughs> it's so cool, I like that we got all the steam and smoke coming out, and people are enjoying the ride too, which is absolutely fantastic, really, really pleased, uh, nice, okay, um, 
And we now need uh, a low intensity thingy. Oh, look at this. The park is a good deal, too right. Uh, we should probably also have a look at the, the, the price of this ride um, since I set it. Okay, so um, I've put seven doubloons and they seem they seem pretty happy with that, don't they? That's working for them. Okay, good. And I, even though this is quite a nauseating ride, we don't seem to be having any major problems with this space, um, which is fantastic. Really, really pleased about that. that. That seems to be working out for us um, quite well. Uh, anyway, yeah. I mean, there we are. What we what we could do? Let's just have a quick look. If I was to grab this, um, I was to just I don't know. I like those gears on the outside, and that sort of ruins it a bit, doesn't it? Because uh, it's like we could we could do that, and then we get a little bit of extra movement. I'm not sure how I feel about that covering up the gears. Maybe if we just do it in some places, so like here, and we could also do it on this side of that. So it's like a compromise, right? And then we don't have it on these two walls. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool, guys. I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> Okay, anyway, there we are. Um, let me know what you think. Um, but I gotta be honest, I'm pretty pleased with this one. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you to all my Patreons for their continued support.